Hi, my name is Cami Rush, and I am a multidisciplinary studies major with areas of focus in history, politics, and American studies. I'm really excited about the things that I've learned studying history and politics at UTSA. Studying history has taught me to be a better human being. Through history, I have learned compassion. I have learned empathy. I have learned about people who have been oppressed, people who have been displaced, and I've learned sides to their story that I've never heard before. Learning this through history has helped me to see more of humanity in other people. When working in public conciliation, seeing the humanity in others is key to making progress and solving a conflict. So history has taught compassion, has taught empathy, and has taught the considering that there is another side. Also in politics, I learned we have more in common really than we do differences. And when we can listen to each other, instead of just trying to talk and express our points when we actually listen, um, we can get things done. And I think my unique combination of history and politics, learning compassion and empathy, really makes me suited for this position. Handling conflict in the workplace takes practice. And I actually feel like I have a lifetime of practicing that. Um, I would say first, be approachable. Um, I want to be approachable. I want to have an open door policy. I want people to know that they can come and talk to me if they have a problem, especially one that's involving me. Um, second, I would say use the skill of listening. Listen to understand. Um, third, then I would want to be able to express my feelings and hopefully be understood. Um, and then fourth, I would come up with a plan. Okay, how can we make sure that this doesn't happen again? Uh, and lastly, I would want to make sure that whoever I'm discussing with knows um, and we can both recognize that we both want the same thing. We want our team to be united. We want our company to be successful and working together, we can achieve that. The most recent problem solving that I have been involved in um, is actually in my neighborhood. Um, we live in a country area and right behind our property was a 300 acre ranch that has now been sold and is going to be developed into a property uh, of homes with neighbor a neighborhood. Um, part of the problem was the new development was going to use our existing street, which currently is a dead end as a thoroughfare for their neighborhood. Of course, for the people in our neighborhood that has been established and been here for more than 30 years, this was a concern for us. So um, what I did is I took charge of this situation in getting communication out to our neighbors. Uh, I made a flyer and did a good old fashioned walk through the neighborhood and um, met some of my neighbors and posted most of these informational flyers on mailboxes. And the flyer said, hey, this is the situation. We'd like to get together for a neighborhood meeting. Um, here's my email address, send me your contact information. And from there, we made a, I made a contact list of who wanted to get information, who wanted to be involved. We ended up having a meeting in my home and coming up with a great plan to approach the city council and planning and zoning commission with. Um, through these efforts, we were able to actually meet with a developer and come to a solution that was beneficial for both parties. So it was a great uh, problem solved. My life has actually changed pretty significantly in the last couple of years. Uh, my youngest children left to go to college. And after being a stay-at-home mom for 22 years, now I needed to decide what I was going to do. Um, I decided that going back to school and finishing my degree would be 
the best investment for the rest of my life. Um, going back to school and earning a degree I knew would open doors. Doing this as a 45-year-old um, wasn't comfortable in the beginning, um, but I actually found that being a student in my mid-adult life has actually been very enjoyable. Uh, I've actually enjoyed the learning process more as an older adult, and I feel like what I'm learning has actually a little more relevance to me now because of the life experience that I've had. I actually do have a question for you. I was wondering what immediate challenges and opportunities uh, will come to this person who fills this job opportunity?